What's up guys? I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Hackintosh or a macOS Catalina environment on a PC. For this video, we're going to be using Linux's kernel-based virtualization, which has several pros and cons. The major pro is that it works on almost any machine instead of being limited by the hardware like if you tried to natively run Mac OS Catalina. Also, you can multitask between operating systems instead of being limited to using one at a time. However, since you can multitask between operating systems, you're spreading the resources between them and the performance is quite limited. Also, since you're running a nested machine, the device pass-through can be a pain in the butt. If you're already running an Arch Linux distribution on your PC, then you don't need to follow the next series of steps and you can skip straight to preparing your kernel virtual machine. However, if you're running Windows, you're going to need to download an Arch Linux distribution. What you'll need for this is a disk or partition inside your PC on which you'll download Linux and a USB flash drive for creating your live bootable USB. I recommend that you use Anarchy Linux because it's extremely easy to install and Rufus for creating the bootable USB with an ISO. So the first thing we'll do is download our Anarchy Linux distribution. We'll do that from their official website over on the download tab by clicking click me and grabbing that ISO file. And then we'll download the Rufus USB utility from their website download the portable version. So now that we're running our Rufus utility, we're going to select the USB drive that we have plugged in and the ISO that we just downloaded and start creating a live bootable USB. At this point, go ahead and restart your computer so you can boot from the live USB. Press F11 on the UEFI menu to access your boot options. And boot from the thumb drive that you just created. Once you boot into the Arch Linux installer, just follow the prompts to install Arch Linux on your disk. Once we're running our Arch Linux distribution, we're going to prepare our kernel virtual machine. For your reference, here's the commands that I'll be using to do that. So first up, we're going to install the KVM software they're going to be using called Gimu. Open an instance of the terminal and use the command sudo pacman s kimu. Once this installation is complete, the next thing that we'll have to do is clone the GitHub repository containing the base system image as well as the scripts that we'll need to build and launch the KVM. So we're going to use the command sudo git clone and the URL, which I'll provide in the description. I already have this cloned, so for me it'll say that the destination path already exists, but for you it'll download. At this point, we'll change directories into the macOS simple KVM. For the first time setup, we're going to use the jumpstart script to extract the base system image. Now we're going to install the base system image onto the virtual machine. We'll create a disk image, mount it, and then launch the virtual machine. Once again, here's the commands that I'm going to use to do that for your reference. Now that we've extracted the system image, we're going to go ahead and create the image file for the partition on which we'll install macOS. We're going to use the kimu command sudo kimu img create f in the file system type. The, um, file name .qcow2 and the size, in my case I'll do 64G for 64 gigabytes. And then we will go ahead and mount this by 
appending the KeyMu commands in our launch script, which is called basic.sh. So I'm using the atom text editor with the command sudo atom basic.sh to open it up, but you can use whatever text editor you want. And these last two lines there is what we need to add on to mount mydisk.qcow2 onto the virtual machine. So having done that, we can go ahead and run the basic script with sudo period slash basic dot sh. I like to do zoom to fit and then control alt f to fill the screen and we'll boot into our bootloader. Once you've completed the prompts and the first time set up loading, you're done. Your KVM is ready to go. As you can see, we are indeed running macOS Catalina on a Windows computer.